Hi everybody, happy art day to my fifth graders. Uh, today we are going to be talking about creepy crawlies, insects. You'll see that I'm wearing my insect dress because what you are going to be doing over the next couple of weeks is you are going to be working towards making an insect sculpture. So you can see that this is my little beetle that I made here. Um, I started off with this drawing, which is what you will be doing this week. And then that was kind of my planning process. Um, and then the second week you will be actually sculpting using something called salt dough. So we are going to be looking at the artist Christopher Marley. Um, he is a famous artist who is known for sculpting and painting and creating insects with his art and they're actually really beautiful. People get creeped out by insects, but they can actually be really pretty and really beautiful. So without further ado, I'm going to show you a couple of slides of Christopher Marley's work. Uh, we're gonna talk about it, and then I will show you the process of planning your beetles for next week. Christopher Marley is an American artist who is originally from the Los Angeles area. He actually started working in fashion before he sort of developed his own style of art. He's now known for these beautiful insects and creatures that he sculpts and paints, um, and he's also published several books. This is an example of the beetles that I was inspired by. So fifth graders, part one of your project that's going to be due this Friday is just going to be a sketch of whatever bug or creepy crawly or beetle you want to recreate using the salt dough. So I went online and I just did a quick Google search and I looked up different beetles. I knew that I wanted to do a beetle. And so I actually found this paper that I printed out that I'm going to use for inspiration. I will show you a close up picture of that again in a minute um, and some other beetles that you may be inspired by um, and I all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick one of these that I kind of like the shape of and I'm going to just do a drawing I'm gonna do a sketch on this paper and I'm gonna start planning out what my sculpture is gonna look like for next week so this week is the drawing of the creature that you are doing next week is going to be the actual sculpture using the salt dough so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I sketch out my beetle design and what I choose to do I'm not necessarily gonna use these colors by the way I might make up my own crazy colors and patterns. Um, I don't necessarily have to use the actual colors from nature. I could make, you know, a purple and orange beetle if I wanted to. So you can get really creative with this. I'm going to show you how I sketch mine out and I will be back in a minute. So for the sketch of my beetle, I'm just going to start off using a regular pencil and a regular eraser. And again, I'm going to use this paper that I found, um, th that I printed out, um, to be inspired by some of these shapes that I see. And I think I'm actually going to go, I'm trying to think right now, what do I feel would be a really interesting sculpture? Because remember, this isn't going to just be a drawing, it's going to be a sculpture. And so I'm looking at the different shapes here, and I kind of like this guy. So it might not look exactly like him, but that's what I'm gonna be using as my inspiration today. So I'm just gonna start off by sketching his shape, and I'm paying just really close attention to the shape of his body versus the shape of his head. And this is gonna give me a really good idea of what I will need to do next week when I'm sculpting this out of clay, the different parts that I'm gonna have to make. So I'm drawing from observation. I'm looking over at the beetle that I was kind of inspired by. Now, if you wanna go outside and see if you can find an actual real creepy crawly that you would like to draw and you would really like to sketch it from observation, that would be kind of a cool thing to do. I'm kind of feeling like we probably don't have beetles that look like this uh, anywhere around here. 
Could be wrong. Okay, so here's where I'm going to start making up kind of my own design. I'm going to start choosing patterns that I would like to paint and draw onto my sculpture. And I'm not necessarily going to use the colors, the natural colors of the beetle. I might use pinks and purples, maybe even a light blue. I might use some interesting patterns and shapes. So once I get the last leg sketched in, I'll show you the first few patterns and then I will speed up the video so that you can kind of see how I end up coloring all of this in. Remember, this is a plan that I'm creating here for my sculpture for next week. So it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just giving me an idea of how I might need to sculpt my insect next week. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm going to add a triangle right here and maybe some smaller triangles. Again, this is not the pattern on the beetle that I was inspired by. This is just my own pattern that I am making up. And I could totally change this when I go to sculpt it and when I'm done sculpting it and I'm ready to paint, I could change my design. I could change my idea if I wanted to. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the video so you can see how I'm going to color this in. Okay, so as you can see, I um, just kind of went through and I sort of just did my own thing. I uh, created my own patterns, my own designs. So the elements of design that I would like for you to think about when you are creating your insect um, practice drawing, or your plan I should say, is I want you to think about color and I want you to think about shape and pattern. So you wanna be careful to not create designs that are gonna be way too tricky to paint onto your sculpture when you make your sculpture next week. So I might have made parts of mine a little bit tricky, so I might have to simplify that. We will see um, how I feel when I get there. So all I'm doing now is I'm just kinda going through and I'm adding some darker details to make some of my designs kind of pop out a little bit. So I hope you have fun with this this week. Use your imagination, get super creative. Remember, this is not necessarily a real insect that actually exists in our world today. You can totally make up your own. All right, hello again, fifth graders. I hope you enjoyed that video. Just a reminder that this week, we're not gonna get into the sculpture part of things yet. That's gonna be next week. So this week, you are only worried about creating your plan for what your 
um, beetle or insect is going to look like. So I hope you have fun with this. You can check Google Classroom in the description there to see what questions I'm going to be asking you this week for the MAPS assessment. So I will have those questions posted in there and I cannot wait to see what kind of designs you guys come up with for these beetles. So send me those pictures when you have them created and I will see you next week when we talk about how we're gonna sculpt these. All right, have fun and as always, happy art day. Thank you.